How's it going guys? Coming at you with a little demonstration of this knife right here which is the Topps Exist Alpha. Uh, Blade HQ asked me to be part of a collaboration on demonstrating survival skills with this actual knife and uh, I thought it would be a, a really fun thing to do. So there's going to be a lot of YouTubers that are going to be doing this exact same video uh, as me showing and demonstrating different survival skills with this knife. And so I'm going to leave a link down below in the description box of all of those and so you guys can go ahead and check those out as well. Uh, it'll gonna, it's gonna, the purpose of this is really going to give you guys a good idea of how well the Exist Alpha does in multiple different scenarios. So. For me, I'm not like a super bushcrafty kind of dude, so I'm not going to be demonstrating like anything super, super difficult. I'm kind of more of your average regular Joe. But what I thought I would do with the blade is I'm going to do some fire prep with it, and we're going to start some fire. We're going to start the fire, but I thought we would do uh, some cooking preparations with this blade. Um, it's not going to be anything that's going to show you like the durability of the knife, but it's going to show you the workability um, on an every, everyday task, which is cook cooking and preparation that way. You know, that's not like your super sexy bushcraft stuff, uh, but it's something that everybody does when they're camping. It's something that everybody does, um, you know, when they're, if they're in a survival situation, they've got to eat. And so food prep is really, really important. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make uh, my favorite Dutch oven potatoes. So we're going to, we're going to uh, cook those suckers up, but we're going to get the fire started with the, uh, the Exist Alpha knife. So anyway, so let's, let's go ahead and get started and we'll show you how well it does. Dudes, just take a look at that that sexy little bulldog of a knife. That is so sweet. Topps makes such a nice, nice blade. That Exist Alpha is a little bulldog for sure. All right, let's get started. So the Exist Alpha comes with a survival kit and uh, we're not gonna break that down right here. We're actually gonna break that down when I show you this knife on the tabletop. And so we're gonna set that off to the side. But what comes in the kit with it is uh, uh, a magnesium rod, which is what we're going to use to start the uh, fire with. I also have some of my homemade fire stuff that uh, that I do, and that's uh, just lint from the dryer, as well as a Vaseline cotton dill that I use as well. So we're going to go ahead and start the fire with that, but uh, what we need to do is we need to uh, get some kindling going here, and so that's what we're going to use the alpha knife here first with. One thing about the Alpha that I really, really like is being that it's a shorter, wider blade, I feel like I have really good control of the knife itself. Um, I really feel like I can hug up on it with my thumb, uh, get both thumbs in on there, and, and really get in some pressure in the wood. So when I make these, this uh, kindling shavings you know, to help start the, the fire, it's really easy, really controllable. The actual shape of the blade, which has that little reverse curve, makes it really easy to actually grip um, whatever you're, you're actually cutting. It gives you that force, it kind of like, acts like a force multiplier actually. Really hugs up on that, that wood. Alright, that should give us enough shavings to get our fire, fire going. We're going to get some smaller sticks and stuff put together. Shave off some edges here. Gives a little thicker wood. One more. That should be good. There we go. All right, so we've got our, our dry pieces there. Let's go and start the fire. Okay, guys, so we're gonna demonstrate here. We've got my little thing, and that's gonna help us burn it a little longer. But to get it going, uh, for, you, for those of you that don't really appreciate how well uh, dryer lint does when it comes to spark, Let's just go ahead and spark it a couple times here and see what we get. Look at that, going right immediately. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna light our, whew, light our Vaseline there. And that's gonna get it going immediately. Whoops, 
without putting it out. Then we're going to use some of our shavings here to get some coals going. Okay, sweet. That's why I always carry dryer lint in my 72 hour kits uh, because um, as long as it's dry, it will go up so fast. It's like insane. So, all right, so there we go. That's going. Feed that a little bit. Get some of these bigger pieces in here. Once it's going here, whoops, once it's going well, then we'll get it on the fire. All right, now that we've got our fire going, let's go ahead and get our food prep done. Okay, so this recipe is really simple. What you need is you need uh, pepper bacon, you know, a pound of it works. Uh, then you need a yellow onion and you need really eight to 10 potatoes. Um, just kind of enough potatoes to fill up to the top of the Dutch oven. Now while you're doing this preparation, you really want to warm your Dutch oven up because you're going to be cooking the onion and the bacon. Uh, right now we're waiting for our coals to, to get hot and so we're, we're just going to do this food prep first. Uh, but uh, again, this is a demonstration of the Exist Alpha knife. and. And this is going to be, Doc Tack Mom is going to actually do the cutting for us here. So she's going to actually, um, she'll be a better uh, evaluator of how well the knife does in food prep. Go for it. So you can co make comments and stuff if you'd like as well. So this is not going to be like your, your chef's Ginsu knife, but, uh, but it's all about it's how well it thick. does. It's a thick blade. The <laughs> blade yeah. is thick. I'm cutting and this stuff. Yeah, it is a it is a thicker blade for sure. Really, all you need is just coarsely ground because you want. Dang onion! <laughs> it's a strong onion, eh? It's really strong. <laughs> Yeah, the stronger the onion, the better it's going to be. Okay, well, Doc Tech Mama finishes up cutting up the bacon. I'm going to run out and get the Dutch oven warmed up. Nice and sharp, easy, easy cutting the bacon. So it's good for cutting meat, but a little more difficult for cutting that onion. Man, the onion is really strong. Okay. So you want them kind of thick, but not yeah, too thick. Not so thick you can't. That takes forever to cook. But you don't want them too thin that they get little mushy. Little thinner than that, I'd say. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so while Doc Tack Mom is finishing up cutting the potatoes. I'm going to run out and we're going to get the bacon and onion started. Hey, are you excited for Dutch oven potatoes? Yeah. It's going to be good, huh? I'm excited for the What do you think? What do you um, think, dude? Um, it's pretty good. You gonna you excited for them? Yep. It tastes awesome, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So our bacon's cooked. Our bacon and onions are cooked all the way through. So we're gonna take it out of the fire for a minute. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our potatoes. But what about the butter? Okay, so yeah, we'll probably put a little. We don't need necessarily need butter. These, this is pretty fatty bacon, so we're probably not gonna do it. So what we're gonna do is just put our taters in there. That looks so good. I want to eat it. I know it looks good, huh? Uh -huh. It's just like okay. say it's cooked, so we can eat it right now. And now we're gonna mix our potatoes in with our bacon real good. Oh, I just want to eat here. that! <laughs> no, does that look good or what, guys? Yeah! I just want to eat that! So badly! We want to get them really nice and mixed. And then what we're going to do is the majority of the heat is going to be taken it's off the bottom and it's going to be put on the top because we want these potatoes to cook down nice and even. And at this point, you want it to cook nice and slow, so we're not going to put a ton of heat on this thing. You can kind of see the reason why I use the pepper bacon is that you get that real pepper coming off that bacon and it really helps season it up really nice. And now we're going to put a bunch of salt. Good. That should be good. Mix that through as that as those potatoes sweat. That'll soak that right through. All right. Cool. Good. Looks good. Now let's get it back on the fire here. Now we want the majority of this heat on top of the Dutch oven. So we want the majority of those nice hot coals on top. There, that should be good enough there. All right, so as it stands, the majority of the heat is on top, which is what we want. We want those potatoes to kind of cook down. And we just got a, a, a small bed of coals underneath. And I might end up taking the, the Dutch oven off those coals on the bottom in about five to 10 minutes here, just after, just once uh, everything comes up to heat. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. We're gonna take this off here. Oh, I'm stuck in the ivy. Okay, now. Take this off and stir it here. Okay, dude, hold the white light right here. Hold the light on it, okay? Oh, this looks good, man. Yeah, hold the light right there. Okay, we're half hour in. Keep the light right here, dude. Look sweet. That looks so good. We're starting to get we're starting to get done. We probably got another 10-15 minutes tops. Alright, so there they are. It's like done perfectly, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it turned out awesome. Okay, we're gonna cheese it up. So we're just gonna use like eight ounces, right? Half a pound of cheese ish. Something like that. Just bump the camera. Yeah, you're fine. There it is, our Dutch oven potatoes prepared with the Tops Exist Alpha Knife. Nice. Very, very good. Nice high calorie meal for, for uh, elk hunting, things like that. That's what I, this, this is the kind of meal that I like when I'm elk hunting, so pretty awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to the tabletop. All right, so let's look a little closer at the Excessed Alpha Knife by Tops. Uh, this thing, guys, like I said before, is just built like a tank. It is a little bulldog of a knife. What a beast. And, uh, you know, really the, the, the purpose behind these videos is not to uh, bring this knife to the ragged edge of durability and just beat the snot out of it. The collaboration videos that we're doing here is to really show you guys how this knife performs in multiple different uh, survival roles. And again, my video is uh, on some basic fire prep as well as uh, food preparation. And I know that food prep is not the sexiest part of survival, but it's something that, uh, that everybody's gonna need to do in a survival role. And, uh, and you know, I think that the, the blade performed adequate, adequately in that role. Um, just some basic stats on, on the knife. We have an eight and three quarters inch overall length, uh, three and one eighth inch uh, long blade. We have a three sixteenths inch 
thick blades. This thing is just built. It's a big old slab of 440C steel. The one nice thing about that 440C that I really like is that um, it's going to be better for uh, corrosion resistant and uh, resistance. And so, like in in an outdoor roll, um, especially in areas that are a wetter environment, this this steel is going to hold up a lot better. It's hardened to five uh, to 58 to 60 Rockwell as well. So. The handle scales are actually made of micarta, and I really like micarta. You know, some I, I, there's a lot of criticism out there, but I think micarta actually um, gives you a lot of grip and is a very, very tough uh, handle material. It comes with paracord lanyard on it. One thing about this is it's a hollowed out handle. You can actually, there's a little storage compartment inside the handle that you can put whatever you want inside of there, like additional matches or, or something like that. So there's, def so there's a little, little opening there. I'd probably never use it, but it is there if you want to use it. And if you want to take these mic micarta uh, scales off, you can paracord wrap the handle and use it like that if you'd like. A couple things that I really, really like about the Alpha. Um, one is that it's an extremely controllable knife. I think the the blade length of this knife really makes it easy to control the knife. And like as you can see, with my hands, which I've got like small to medium hands. Uh, with my hands on the actual handle, I can almost uh, choke up to the end of that blade. So I can really get in and put a lot of force on this blade um, if I need to. And the width of the, the actual blade allows me to, to get both thumbs on it to do more detailed work. Uh, or harder, harder pressed work. So that's a really, that's probably the biggest plus that I can see with the Alpha is, is its controllability. The other thing that I really, really like, um, what's one of its biggest positives is how tough it's built. This is something that's going to hold up to a lot of, a lot, a lot of abuse. Uh, like I said, this is not what the collaboration videos are about, but I don't think anybody's going to doubt that this thing could handle some serious, serious abuse. Um, also, one of my, one of my favorite things about it is that 440C and that uh, corrosion resistance um, that you get with the 440C. Now, one of the downsides of this blade, um, as I see it, is also one of its strengths, and that is, again, the thickness of that blade. It makes for an incredibly tough and durable knife, but as you can see um, in the fruit prep portion of this video, Doc Tack Mom had a little bit of hard time getting through and being precise in her cuts on, on those potatoes. Um, it made it so that it tried to spread the potato out too much, and it, was, and it wasn't as, as easy um, in the kitchen. And so, again, that's why we show you uh, the these kind of portions of of the uh, the video to show you guys how it performs. Um, so again, uh, the thickness of it is is a, a negative and a strength for sure. Now. Let's take a look at the sheath that it comes with. Uh, this is made out of ballistics nylon. It uh, is set up so that you can do, um, you know, like you can attach it to an LBE or or like a, a Molly Molly setup there. It uh, has a Kydex insert right in here, a Kydex sleeve inside of the nylon, and it just slips in just like this. And then you can do it up, and then it has this fast text buckle on on the front, so it's nice and secure. It also comes with a little bit of paracord there if you want to uh, secure it uh, somewhere else upside down. Um, you can do that as well. So it's a nice, nice little sheath for sure. It's not uh, it's not hokey by any means. So there's so that's the sheath that it comes with. Sorry, right, let's take a second here and I'll show you what comes with the knife. It comes with a, a survival kit and I'll show you uh, the different components that it comes with. First, it comes with a magnifying glass. And if any of you guys have used one of these magnifying glass um, in uh, for fire starting, they work really, really well for fire starting. It also comes with this really, really handy uh, uh, saw and as you can see, I actually uh, use this saw quite a bit here. Just uh, just in testing, I had some footage of it, but the footage totally like disappeared. It got erased, and so I can't show you how well the survival saw does. Uh, but that's a survival saw. It also comes with a tops whistle. Works really really well. Very very low profile. Nice little whistle there. Comes with a signal mirror. Comes with a compass as well. Okay, it works well. Comes with one Ranger band as well. So this is something, um, for those of you guys that know, it's a very, very strong elastic band. Comes in very handy, lots of different uses. Comes with a razor blade, one razor blade. 
Comes with a, a small carabiner as well as a, a small little flashlight. A flashlight that works actually really well. It's actually very, very bright and you can, and you can turn it to uh, constant on as well. So a nice little flashlight comes with it. It comes with uh, a set, two sets of snare wire with loops built already in. So that's a skill, guys. Uh, snaring uh, uh, wild game is definitely a skill, uh, but it does come with some snare wire. It also comes with uh, two hooks and some fishing lines, some monofilament there. Comes with two safety pins, a fire starter, a flint and steel, okay. Comes with this elbow screwdriver, so it's a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver there. Very, very cool. Comes with a P38 can opener. And it comes with a, a sail needle. If you guys don't know what a sail needle is, it's one of these uh, triangular shaped needles. Very, very, very sharp. Uh, could come in very handy for uh, for uh, fixing things as well as, uh, oh man, um, you could pull a sliver with it. I mean, there's lots of different uh, things that that, uh, that a sail needle will come in handy for. And then it also comes with this little Lansky sharpener, which are which are really, really nice and really handy to have in the field. This, this uh, I think it's a, a carbide and uh, a ceramic. Uh, sharpener. So that's a really nice thing to have in the field, especially when, when your knife dolls up. So so it's actually a very nice little kit that comes with the, with the Alpha Knife. Uh, it doesn't come with any kind of container, so you kind of pretty much have to make your own container um, with, that, uh, with that kit. But uh, that's kind of part of the fun as well, uh, figuring out how you're going to load that up and stick it probably with your, with your, uh, your, your sheath there. All right, guys, so if you're looking for a really controllable and robust survival knife, uh, definitely take a look at the Topps Excess Alpha Knife. It is a very, very nice knife, um, and I think it'll serve you really well. Uh, Topps is a great company, and, uh, and, they make some, and they make an excellent product. Also, guys, don't forget to uh, do your shopping for blades at Blade HQ. They are a, a group of excellent dudes there, and I really, really like that company, and I definitely give them my endorsement for sure. So uh, check out there, check out your blades there at Blade HQ. And anyway, guys, if you have any questions or comments about the ex Excessed Alpha Knife by Tops, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this in the future. And as always, guys, thanks very, very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.